Well, today we're going to use a totally different method than the previous one. Uh, we're going to use an updated method for those people who want to recover their device. We always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step until the end so as not to miss any of these details. Uh, as we had said, we're going to use a different method. If this method doesn't work for you, we have another different method for this same model. The video description and in the first pinned comment. The video tutorial step by step until the end. Without skipping the video, since at the end of the video when we recover our device. I'm going to explain how to correct the errors that we have left on our phone. Because our phone has some errors and how we correct it, see watching this video. Step by step. Well, let's connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to do this process. Let's connect to a Wi-Fi network. Well, first of all we're going to take a tour of our phone for. This so that you can see that our device has. A screen lock also finally it has the. Forgotten Gmail account. What we did, our phone. We changed what was the screen lock and what we did was a uh, reset it. We formatted it, when we formatted it. Our phone still continued to ask us for that screen lock. And now it also asks us uh for the Google account. The Gmail account. For that we have made this video tutorial so that you can solve this. Problem and how you are going to solve it while watching the video tutorial. Step by step until the end since at the end of the video we will explain how to. Correct the errors when we fully recover our device. Here we can see that our phone has this. Lock pin here it also has the Gmail account. I also want to tell you that we have the member community session on our. Channel for those people who want to support us, well, we really. Appreciate it. What is the benefit of you supporting us? In the member community, it would help us grow much more. So we are also going to thank you by publishing the videos in advance before we publish. Watch our video on YouTube. Are going to publish it to our community. Well, now we are going to go to the PC and we are going to explain what you have to do. Well, the first thing we are going to do is go to our antivirus. We are going to select our antivirus. Once here in our antivirus, what we are going to do is go here to the left side. We are going to find this option that says virus and threat protection. We are going to select that option. Then we are going to go down here and we are going to be able to find this option that says manage settings. We are going to click on it and then we are going to select this first option that says real-time protection we have to do this since if we do not do this our phone eh would not detect it as a virus so we deactivate it here we are going to give it this permission it asks us and we are going to say yes after we deactivate that we are going to go to google here in google we are going to explain where you are going to be able to download this tool you are going to go here to Google and you are going to write exactly as it appears here. You can see here you are going to write exactly as the letters this baby cell you are going to write ends in double L. Then you are going to select this option. Here our David cell page will appear which is called Android DTV. Davy cell will also appear below. You are going to select that entry. Then it would take you to this section here you will be able to find this option that says Android TV. You will find several entries so that you can recover your device. Then you are going to go to the last options here in the last options you will be able to find this entry that says apps. 
David sold that would be the last one. We are going to select that entry that says apps or suddenly it tells you applications. You are going to click on it here you will be able to find, well many different methods. You are going to find a totally different method and you are going to be able to find it. So what you have to do is go down, you are going to go down, we. Go down here we are going to be able to find at the beginning of the entries. We are going to find the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. This would be the tool. We have also left you the drivers so that you can also do it. Just as we downloaded the tool. When we download it we are going to extract the tool completely. Then what we are going to do here is right click on. The tool and we are going to click here where it says run as administrator. Here we are going to say yes and since we deactivated. Our antivirus the program is not going to detect it as a virus. Here we have v2 totally different methods to be able to apply. We already have all these methods. We do it. The method that we are going to select now, we select our model. Depending on our model it is the same process for this one too. This is an AO4E, for the normal AO4 it also works. A 5 is the same process, AO6 is the same process. Well select some of those methods. So what we are going to do is install the drivers. Here we go here on the left side we are going to find the driver which would be this Mediatate here you also download this one. Install it, I have left a driver called LID USB-C. Click USB which would be this one. They are going to install the program, we have left it. This program is this driver it is very good because it gives us the option that if the driver is not installed it will give the option to be able to install it here we are going. To select it we are going to leave it here we are going to click here in this first option. That appears we click on next and all those drivers are going to appear we are. To leave it here on this side here now what happens if when we connect the device if it appears here we are going to click on it and click on install quickly we install it. Now what we are going to do is run the program. We click here where it says remove FRP, here it is waiting for connection. Now what we are going to do is turn off our phone, we turn it off when our phone is completely off. We are going to count 10 seconds, when those 10 seconds pass we are going to press. We are going to insert the USB cable, we insert the USB cable when our phone shows the charging logo, we press the power button. Count 4 seconds and release, that is what we are going to do, we are going to introduce. We are also going to be attentive if the driver appears here. We introduce it, we are going to wait for it to show. Wait 1, 2, 3 and 4. Release. See, it seems that it didn't detect it. We're going to release it. We're going to do it again. We roar when it shows the charging logo. We're going to press the power button and count 4 seconds again. Car, wait for it to come out, it seems that it has not detected it. We press the power button and as you can see here it came out successfully. It showed us the loading logo, if you see that it takes you a little while. A little longer, press the power button. Because that's what I did, I pressed the power button. Here the driver does not appear because I already have it installed. If it seems to you the driver is why I did this this method because the driver will appear here if it is not installed then what you are going to do is select it, click install as I just explained to you a while ago. 
Here it came out eh it finished successfully and you got this green screen. It is because the process was successful now what we are going to do is press the power button and the volume down button at the same time so that our phone restarts. In the other case of the other method that we have in the description of the video in the first fixed comment it was different. There we did not have to touch or anything, none of the buttons, here yes. Now what we have to do is disconnect it. We are going to press the power button and we are going to complete the process of deleting this account of this device. That's why we always recommend watching the step-by-step -step video so you don't miss any details and can recover your device using Google or screen lock. Now what we're going to do is completely restart our phone and show us what it is eh. You know that now the accessibility option will appear. In some cases since eh when you get accessibility. But at the beginning it didn't appear and after you do the process it appears. Then it is because the video tutorial has been successful. There what we have to do is configure our phone to be able to configure it. I'm going to explain a faster and more effective way also when our phone already. EH we completely recover it. I recommend as you can see accessibility already appears here we are going to click. Next we are going to click next we click. Except we click accept. I am going to explain how to correct some errors, since we still have some errors with our phone. We deactivate the Wi-Fi networks. Do not have any SIM card inserted in our phone. Do not have a SIM card to be able to EH make the process faster. We configure it faster, but you do not have to have any SIM card, we click on skip. We click on skip anyway, we are going to click on skip. When we recover the phone, we go to go what is setting. Here in setting we are going to select the last option which would be about. From there it will give us the option, we are going to wait for it to finish. As I tell you, we click on next. We click on finish, we click on finish. Let's take us to start, take start. We are going to go here in setting, we go to setting. Here I am going to go to here in the last options, I am going to cover here so as not to see the email. Now we click about the phone. Here you are going to select the reset option. You are going to click here on reset here we are going to reset all the factory settings. When it resets all the factory settings we would have a totally new device. Free of any error, you know, if our video works for you. Subscribe, activate the bell, like it, share it and leave a good comment.